Walsh with a rebound, two seconds, one second. Debo's gonna duck it at the horn, and Arkansas wins it by a final of 81 to 70. Let's drop the goal first, and then we can start working on those, those feet. Oh boy, yep, it's going. Today we're just trying to get this west bleacher in because we can't get to this basket here, um, this west basket here until this bleacher's in. And then we got to push them back into storage. And then we'll start um, laying carpet on the floor. So we have carpet tiles, much like you see um, underneath the, the courtside chairs for your basketball setup. So we've got to lay carpet tiles throughout the whole entire floor to protect it. Easy down. You're good. You're good. Get these basket hoops out of here, start clearing some stuff up, hopefully get this building turned around and ready to go for 9 a.m. on Thursday for practices. We've got to get courtside chairs up and out. Once we get those out, simultaneously we can get a carpet cart going and start running carpet. And then as they're running carpet, we get this last hoop out on the side. So we're going to go rim first, down the baseline, make the turn, and then into storage. The key is with this, as we've learned, is we gotta have like four pushers and one person standing back and making sure we're in the clear, you know what I mean? The majority of the gymnastics equipment will come in tomorrow. We've actually rented a U-Haul um, to put all the gymnastics stuff into. Um, so we'll probably have to make three or four trips tomorrow. What's it going? All right, go slow. All right, Kara, we're going this way. But that can't be done until we get Bud prepped for basically um, from a clean slate uh, to uh, what we need to have um, ready to go for gymnastics. Okay, listen up. Here's the game plan. Nothing shocking here. We're going to warm up really, really well. We're going to get into two groups. One group on bars, one group on beam, and then a couple others that won't be on bars and beam will do a little bit of floor, a few landing drills on vault. And then everybody needs to make sure they get a dance through in at some point. Hopefully pretty soon here we get um, the speakers rocking. Um, but we will we have to wait until this really important guy named Chris gets here so he can hook all that stuff up. Obviously this is super cool to be in here. A good thing for y'all to remember, listen up, a good thing for y'all to remember is this is the same equipment that we were on last week. The only difference is it's, it's a few feet down on campus, okay? So when you get to your event, take the first turn to adjust to, to adjust to being in a different place and by the second turn, lock it in. This is the same as you guys have been doing. We don't need to use today to have this big adjustment to the equipment. That's not why we're in here. We're in here to get one hit routine done on each event, do a dance through, get some core done and be ready for tomorrow. Okay, any questions about the plan today? All right, let's get the energy rocking with the warm up. Warm up your bodies, warm up your brain. By the time you get to the first event, be ready to go. All right, gym backs, let's get it. Let's go, Maddie. That sounds so good in here. One more notch. Eyes, eyes. Okay, Dean, remember, see the floor, then up. Very good. Nice. I like this one. Wait for your music and hold. Look. Eyes. Daggers. Daggers. Me. Me right here. When you're looking any further to the side, you're, you're always looking behind you. You need to look directly to the side. And I noticed it here and I noticed it there. Like yeah, like over here, I was standing right where I want, right in your eyesight on this part. And you're looking like too far behind you. You need to look like directly to the side. I'm just here watching their pre-practice for 
the big meet versus Florida and watching our girls just prep for that and to see the excitement on their face and the energy they have being in this incredible venue knowing that we're gonna have 10,000 people in here to watch our gymnastics team perform tomorrow night. I mean this is a special venue obviously for our men's and women's basketball and for the Razorback athletic program and to be able to to put 10,000 people in this venue to watch our gymnasts compete I, mean, I think it means a great deal to them because they work so hard day in and day out uh, to hone in on their craft and to be gymnasts and for us to be able to support them and to see so many people in here, here tomorrow night supporting them is amazing for this program. Very good. It's good. Jump. Okay, so you guys know that hallway back there? Like, it's like tunnel and there's a hallway to the locker room. Let's walk back there. So there's going to be a curtain right here. And I know it's very cold in here, that's why we're going to go in the hallway. So I'm going to um, cue you all a little bit later in the, or earlier in the music. Okay. But I'm going to be like, let's go. March, march. All right, and then there's going to be a curtain right here. Okay. okay. And then as soon as you walk through the curtain, spotlight's going to be on y'all. Oh, hi y'all. And then as you come out, you're just going to go diagonal up the floor. Got that? So we're like this. So what's gonna happen is you guys are gonna filter and do like a half circle right here. And then Florida, hopefully, they say yes, is gonna come on the floor and be the other half of the circle here. And we're just gonna make a unity circle in the middle of the floor, all pinkied up, while Lift Every Voice and Sing is, Lift Every Voice and Sing is playing. Does that make sense? So just filter this way and make an arc. About right here, like a half circle. That's a line. That's a line. Yep. Perfect. Just like that. Pinky up, and then this will be Florida right here. And they're gonna say something like, "In celebration of Black History Month, um, here to sing, lift every voice and sing. Please welcome." And there's two guys that are gonna be singing. Okay. They're singing it live. It's gonna be really cool. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Um, and then after that, we will just disperse, spread out, and call the hawks. Got it? Which, you guys, is, is really, really great because what it shows is this is so much bigger than just Arkansas gymnastics. This, this is gonna be really impactful and it shows that both teams are coming together for a bigger purpose. This is something that's gonna unite all of us. Okay, and this is something that Frankie and Leah really pushed for and feel really passionate about and so do I and I'm, I'm really excited this is happening. Um, and up on the screen they're going to be playing, or it's going to be like a montage of historical figures, historical black figures and quotes that they said and then also um, former black Arkansas gymnasts as well. So that's what people are going to be seeing up on the screen while this is happening. Really cool. That's awesome. Really cool. Okay. Any questions about the, the rest of the intros? Got it. Yeah, practice was great for me. You know, it's so exciting being here in Bud Walton, um, such a legendary, iconic um, arena. And yeah, I just love the energy in here. I can't wait to get fans in here and get even more hype for tomorrow. I think just you know doing something similar that we did, to that we did last week against LSU, but um, you know just coming in and doing what we normally do, but also having a lot of fun and feeding off the crowd, feeding off the energy. Practice today was pretty. It was pretty cool getting to like be in Bud for the first time and getting to like use the equipment and be with the team and we came in here and we did our one around. We all made sure we were comfortable with the equipment and we hit what we needed to do and we're ready for tomorrow. I'm excited to fill this place and like for the crowd to bring the energy and for just to like have all the big lights on us and like just a new environment and to make this place fun. Record again. What? We beat the ticket record again. Over 10 3. What? Over 10 3. We'll start with this and we'll finish with it. We'll do it right now and then we'll do it again during floor. Flex! Let me know if your hands are cold. You can put them in my kangaroo pocket, okay? 
guys think do you guys think Lex can fit in my kangaroo pocket? Oh. Kangaroo. Oh, in your pouch. Come on, Lex. Good. The last minute she'd put her hands in here when they were cold. It's very warm actually. You guys look good. You look like good, just like calm, badass energy. Nice. Good. You guys look great. Okay, good job. I love that for you. Say it louder. Say it louder. Come on, Bokies. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, Bokies. Come on, Bokies. Bokies. Come on, Bokies. Would you like to explain to Hawks Plus what a Bookie is? A Bookie is like your boo. Like, I'm your boo, but you add keys, so it makes it extra cute. Oh, you don't want to be a Dookie, you want to be a Bookie. There you have it, Hawks Plus. There you have it. You heard it first here. Finally, a break in the winter weather. And for the second time in program history, the Arkansas Jimbacks set to host a meet at Budwall Arena. The opponent tonight, the second rank, Florida Gators, part of Friday Night Heights. for Cami Weaver as well in this building last year. Her first ever vault, she tore her ACL. She had a 9-9 a couple of meets ago against Auburn, a little bit below that with a 9-8-5. Last Friday against LSU. this event last week. in this series. Yes. Oh, Very good. No matter what. Good job. Good job. 
at Bud Walton Arena, the Florida Gators. Four and three quarters tenths better than the Arkansas Razorbacks tonight. The Hogs won the floor in that Thank final you. rotation. But there was some star power again for Florida. I can't stress enough how important fueling, sleep, covering it. We're right dead center in the middle of the season now, okay? We've got to keep going. No, we got to keep our bodies as healthy as possible, all right? Have a great day off tomorrow. Really, really proud of you guys. Let's keep it going. Right? Yes. Yeah. So guys, so you're aware because we have an extra day, we're competing on Saturday at Metroplex. Just be mentally ready. Like Sunday is gonna be a day that we're gonna push so that we're emulating or simulating the regionals, compete off day, and we're gonna go hard. So that we get an extra day before the meet. Okay, so perfect time to do it. We're cruising through, we're hitting sets. So just so you guys are aware, take care of your bodies, take care of your brains, be mentally ready to go on Sunday. Yeah. Come in ready. Monday will be off. We're gonna push. It's what we gotta do to get ready for the postseason, all right? Okay. You guys are ready for it. Jim back's on three. One, two, three. Jim back! 